I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the perfect Ableton template. The idea of having a template is so that every time you launch Ableton, all your channels, your plugins, and your labels are set up exactly the way you want it so that you can immediately start writing. Setting up a project in Ableton every time you launch it can take as long as a few minutes, which doesn't sound like a long time, but in the context of thinking of the idea, going to your computer, launching Ableton, you could very easily forget the melody you just thought of. Everyone's templates are going to be different, so while I'll be creating a template for dubstep, you can take this outline and customize it to your taste. To start off, if there are any plugins that you use on most of your channels, uh, you should just make that your default channel. For example, I always like to have a utility on my audio tracks, so I'm going to add a utility on my track, and I am going to right click hit save as default audio track, we can hit yes. And now every time I create a new audio track, it's going to have that uh, utility already there. Some people like to have an EQ or a saturator, but you can decide what's best for you. So first we're going to group the MIDI track and this will be our kick and snare. And for this MIDI, we're gonna add a drum rack. And the reason why I like using MIDI instead of audio for my kick and snare is because I can drag a whole bunch of kick samples or a whole bunch of snare samples into the drum rack and just audition a bunch of them. So we're gonna name this one to be our kick. We're gonna duplicate that. Make this one our snare, snare, clap. I'm gonna delete this. Next, we're gonna group this audio track and make that for our cymbals. I usually like to have my cymbals and audio. And when I process my cymbals, I usually have an EQ on the bus. So I'm going to add a EQ and I'm gonna high pass around here. Next, we're gonna create the percussion group. So I'm going to group this audio track, name it percussion. This is where I'd add stuff like toms, drum fills, or anything else percussive that isn't a kick, snare, or a cymbal. Moving on to the bass group. Let's say I always make my basses out of serum. And so I'd create a MIDI channel, group it, name this, this bass, and I would add a serum. I'll just add a couple audio channels for any bass samples that I wanna drag and drop. Next, I'll create a group for my instruments. This is usually done in MIDI. And this is where I'd add any melodic elements that aren't part of the drop. So usually intro, verse, build-ups, outro. Next, I'll create our subgroup, uh, which in dubstep, it's usually the underlying uh, sub note that plays underneath the basses. I often find myself low passing the subs, so I'm just gonna add an EQ on this channel. and low pass it around between 100 and 250. We'll just leave it there for now. Next, we have our effects group. We're gonna group that. This is where we're gonna add stuff like white noise, risers, and glitches. I'm just gonna add a couple more audio tracks for good measure. While I don't use melodic vocals in my music, I use vocal chants and phrases, so I'm still gonna add the vocals group. And the last group we're gonna add is ambience. So I'll name this one ambience or atmosphere, whatever you like. This is gonna be for the elements that are in the back of the mix that sort of fill up the space, but the average listener won't hear. For me, this might be crowd noise or a drone or some rain sound effects. Finally, we're at our master channel. This is where everyone's templates are gonna be the most different from each other. Some people might only have a limiter, some people might have a whole series of plugins, some people might even have nothing. For me, I'm gonna have a utility and I'm gonna set the bass mono to somewhere around 100 to 200. I'm going to add an EQ and a G clip. For those of you who don't know, G-Clip is a clipper plugin and it's free. You can get it at this website right here. The EQ set to default because obviously the parameters are going to be different from project to project. And lastly, what I like to do is add some analyzing plugins. So I made a rack called Analyze and the purpose of this rack is to basically check the width of the song and the loudness of the song. So you'll see I have Imager for checking the width. Span I like to use to check RMS. I use Yulian to check the LUFS of the song, which is the perceived loudness. And Spectrum, I just like to see where my levels are peaking at. So this Analyze rack doesn't really change anything about the song, it's just 
for analysis purposes. Now the last step is to save this template. So go to file, save live set as default set. You can name it anything. Uh, I'll name mine my Ableton template. Now if you see this tiny check mark, that means this is my current default live set. And if I wanted to make a different one by default, I would right click, hit set default live set. Now when we open up a session of Ableton, we can see that it automatically loads the template that we just created. And in our master channel, it has everything that we put in there. Congrats, you've made your own template in Ableton. Now, like I said before, everyone's templates are going to be different. So use this as a starting point to make it your own. I'm not saying that my template is gonna be perfect for you. Only you can make the perfect template for you. Yeah.